Today's guest, Dennis Walters, has been performing for 35 years. In 2009, he was named the National Ambassador for the First Tee and represents the organization on his national tour. He is, only, he is one of only 11 honorary lifetime members of the PGA of America. This unique club includes three former presidents of the United States, Eisenhower, Ford, and George H.W. Bush. In 2008, he became the, tw the 20th individual to receive the PGA of America's Distinguished Service Award, joining a list that includes Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicholas, and Byron Nelson, among others. He has been featured in numerous national broadcasts and has had countless newspaper, magazine articles written about him. Now you will be able to witness his golf skills and hear his story in person. I now have the honor to present Dennis Walters. Let's give him a nice tight water welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, everyone. It's always about the dog. I am very happy to be here at Tidewater. Thank you very much to Bill and Billy for uh, the warm hospitality. This is a great event, benefiting many worthy charities, and I'm familiar with two of them. Uh, the Folds of Honor, which is an awesome uh, charity that does a lot of great work for our servicemen and their families, and also the uh, official name is the uh, Canine Angels, Rick and the Canine Angels, which I think is fantastic also. So, yeah, give them a big hand. Everybody who participated in this tournament and is raising money has done a great thing, a wonderful thing to help a great cause. So we hope on Monday you have a great day. Our job here is to get the weekend started off right, give you something to smile about, and also something to think about. The other thing that's right at the top of my list is to say thank you to all the service people, men and women, present, past, thank you so much for your service. We can't have a country like we have without the, the wonderful work, the sacrifice, and all the great things that the, our military does for us to keep us a free country. So. Yeah, the dogs like that too. So, we have a lot of ground to cover. It's kind of a hot day, but I guess you guys are probably used to this, but uh, we got a lot of stuff to cover. First person on my team I want to introduce is Mr. Bucky. Mr. Bucky and all the canine angel is like all the other canine angels. He was found at the Naples, Florida dog pound and was rescued by a little group in Central Florida called Canine Castaways. We're going to talk some more about Canine Castaways later during the show. And Mr. Bucky is awesome. Anybody looking for a dog or a cat, an animal shelter, a rescue group, it's a great place to begin your search. Mr. Bucky is also a service dog. That means he helps me in real life. He picks up things that I can't reach. And since I'm real clumsy, <laughs> That's a big help. Okay, Mr. Bucky. Get it, Buck. Come on, let's go. Good boy. Here you go. Get it, Buck. Come on. Go ahead. You can do it. Easy, 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 easy. Oh. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Good job. All right, let's go. Get in your chair. Mr. Bucky, in addition to being a great ball player, over here. Come, right here. He's a good dancer. Spin it. Spin it. Spin it. Right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Chair. Chair. Right here. Good boy. Okay, so he's a great ball player. He's a great dancer, and he's very handsome. You can see that. But he's also very smart. Mr. Bucky can answer questions by barking out the answers. He's very good in math. General information and golf trivia, don't tell him the answers. 
But when he gets them right, okay, just take it easy, 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 easy. When he gets them right, and I'm betting he will, I want to hear some serious cheering. Okay, here we go. Two and two. Yeah. Keep this handy just in case you forget. <laughs> Two times three. Okay. Uh, seven times eight. Hold it. I know. That's a lot of bark. Here's how he's going to do it. He's going to bark the first number, then the second number. What's the first number? Second. General information, how many tires on a car? How about a spare? Gotta have a spare. Gotta have a spare. How many points for a touchdown? Extra points. Go for two. All right, how many eyes do you have? How many do I have? Okay, uh, let's see. Let's talk about golf. Uh, what's the part on the 18th hole of Pebble Beach? It's it is par five. five. It's perhaps one of the most famous par five in all the world. All right, I have one more series of questions for Mr. Bucky, then we'll take a couple questions from the audience. How many times did Jack Nichols win the Masters? That's right. How about Arnold Palmer? Four is correct. How about Tiger? Right again. How about me? Very nice. Right again. Is there anybody here? Well, Mr. Bucky gets a drink. <laughs> Is there anybody here that would like to ask Mr. Bucky a question? You have to know the answer, and the answer has to be a number. The lady the other day asked him the capital of Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the couple, uh, couple bricks uh, short of a full load there. Come on, come on, chair. Come on, chair. Anybody here would like to ask Mr. Bucky a question? Uh, go ahead. Not you. <laughs> ten times ten, do you know the answer? All right, first number. Here comes a second, listen close. And here comes a third. Oh! <laughs> Couldn't resist. <laughs> Anybody else? How old is Mr. Bucky? That's a good question. Hey, Chair, sometimes he doesn't tell the truth, but let's see how he does. Go ahead. He's four. Get a drink. Go ahead. Let's have a big hand for Mr. Bucky. Okay. What's that? Okay, before the show starts, we always like to have a question and answer period where we get to know you, you get to know us, perhaps. We can help you with your game. Maybe tell you about this tour we've been on for the last 35 years or so. So if anybody has a quick question or two, we'll be happy to take those. We can also take some after the show, but uh, anybody have a question? Hey, Dennis. Yes. What's the fastest way to speed up play? <laughs> Score lower. <laughs> <laughs> However, if you are playing in a tournament like this under this format, if you're not doing that great on a hole, pick it up and save your energy, save your strength, and uh, get going. Somebody hits a drive three, 300 yards down the middle, nobody's going to beat it, move on. 
Okay? Anybody else? How do you punt? Okay, that's a good question. That is absolutely, absolutely the most often asked question that I get when I get on the green, hopefully in a low number of shots. Here's how I do it. I have these braces which help me to stand. I then reach for my crutches. By the way, I don't do this if I'm putting for a six. <laughs> no way I'm working this hard for an eight. Okay, I balance on one crutch. I hold the putter with one hand like so, and I stroke it like so. Here we go. Second most often asked question is, how do I get out of the bunkers? If I'm lazy, I send the dog in for it. <laughs> okay, the next person on our team I'd like to introduce is the person that does all the work. Bucky's the opening act, I hit the golf balls, and my friend Asher Grog does all the work. Give him a big hand, nice tie for him. I'm here at Tidewater, mine too. Uh, we were just at the PGA Championship not too far from here, which was fun. And uh, so, put this guy here, put this over here. So, I think what I'm going to do now is I'd like to hit a few shots to get loosened up, warmed up, and we'll get started with our show. On a rather steamy day here in North Myrtle Beach. <laughs> All right, so as I said, we're going to hit a few of these. Going to hit a few of these to get loosened up, warmed up. Here we go. Yeah, you have to turn this thing on for it to work, right? <laughs> Funny how electronics are like that. Hey, buddy. How you doing? How's everything? Everything's always great. All right, let's hit a few to get loosened up, warmed up. Okay, we're off to a good start. And we're going to hit a few more just to get loosened up, warmed up. you hit a golf ball, aim at something. This way you can rehearse on the practice tee what you're going to do on the course, which is hitting the ball from target to target to target all the way around. It's also more fun to aim at a tree, a pin, the guy picking the balls up. My target, what am I aiming at? No, come on. You gotta pick a specific target. Tall tree. Pin. See this orange flag and that yellow flag? That's my fairway. I'm trying to hit it right over the middle middle flag right there. That's my target. Some of my shots are gonna go shorter, some are gonna go longer. But I would say right at that middle flag is the target. The kind of a reasonably sized fairway, maybe make it a little narrower. Something like that. Our program today is one not only of golf lessons, but also life lessons. And I hope to show by my own personal example that you should never, ever give up on your dreams. To me, dream is a very important word. It's one I think you should think about every single day 
of your life. It is that important.